What's going on YouTube? My name is Twig and today we are doing a first look video over a game set to release in about a month and a half or so called Last Star. Although I don't know a specific date yet, the solo developer did reach out to me yesterday and suggest I take a look at a game that he has been developing while he's pursuing his degree in school. He took his inspiration from Nemesis, which he played as a kid on Game Boy, wanting to create something that hits the nostalgic bone but also give a fresh take to the indie game community. Tagged as an action roguelike, bullet hell shoot 'em up, I think it fits those descriptions pretty well. I reviewed a game called Cozy Space Survivors earlier this year, and this game kind of reminded me a little bit of it. Last Star aims to bring a fresh take to the survivor-like genre that combines roguelike and tower defense elements. I wasn't given a code for the full game or anything, I just downloaded the demo off Steam to give this one a try, and I was pleasantly surprised. I put in a little over an hour into the demo in order to unlock all ships and get a glimpse of most, if not all, of the 40 available upgrades in the game in order to showcase as much of the demo as possible in this video. The concept of Last Star is pretty easy to pick up, but outlasting the enemy onslaught isn't so easy. Your mission is to pilot a spaceship to protect your solar core from endless waves of alien invaders, or at least till you beat wave 10 and claim victory over the alien threat. I'm not sure if wave 10 will be the final wave in the full game, or there will be other maps or an endless mode, but either of those would be awesome to see. There is a spot for you to change the game mode in the UI at the beginning screen, so that will be exciting to check out with the full release. I could definitely get into time trials or endless mode as well, so we'll just have to wait and see. Currently in the game you have three ships to play as. You start out with Blue Wing, but by completing challenges you can unlock two more in the demo, which I was surprised to see, honestly. It looks like there is one more that we'll eventually be able to play as. So far, each ship has been dramatically different in terms of feel and stats, making for some pretty different runs. Like I said, you start off with Blue Wing, next you unlock Red Wing, and then the third and final of the demo is Gray Wing. Of course, the starting ship is pretty run-of-the-mill, just a normal, balanced, overall solid ship to help you get used to the game, while Red Wing fires missiles and ultimately is a bit slower. Gray Wing mixes things up dramatically with a super unique attack that sounds and acts like a lightsaber. After you pick your ship and select the only available game mode, you start your run. The objective is to survive and protect your solar core. As you defeat enemies, they drop a currency that you can collect to upgrade your spaceship or your solar core. You'll notice your health bar along with the core's health bar in the top left corner of your screen, accompanied by the amount of currency that you've collected as well. The current wave that you're on along with the wave countdown timer can be found in the top right corner of your screen. I like how everything is really clean and simple as it helps you focus on all the action occurring right in front of you during each run. I'm a huge fan of the damage numbers that show up when you shoot enemies as it helps you get feedback on what upgrades are worth picking up depending on the build that you're going for that run. After a wave ends, the action will stop and you'll be taken to a screen where you can choose between spending your currency that you've gathered on leveling up your ship, leveling up your core, or repairing your core. I found that it was most beneficial to get your core upgraded as quickly as possible, giving it more health to survive hits from enemies, while also having the ability to dish out a ton of damage using unique weapons as it gets leveled up. As far as ship upgrades go, these give awesome enhancements that range from survivability upgrades like turning incoming damage into a passive auto attack, to the basic increase in attack speed, move speed, max health, etc. Each ship has different stat values in the categories of max health, might, attack speed, move speed, and luck. And as you pick upgrades, you'll earn stat credits to increase these by a little bit. I don't know if it was a bug or if I was misunderstanding something, but picking the ship level up option was supposed to give me three stat upgrade credits as I played, but when selecting it, it only gave me one. It would have made the game a little bit easier, obviously, if I did have three stat upgrade credits for each ship level up because by the end of each run I was at around level 17 or so on my ship, which would have been a massive amount of stat upgrades. Overall, I had a blast playing with all the different upgrades and especially once I unlocked the other ships. My favorite ship would either have to be Grey Wing or Blue Wing, but I had fun using all of them. In this game you do go from having that underpowered feeling to feeling unstoppable like you get in other similar style games which I think is a crucial aspect that helps define that progression to make the game fun. 
I'm a huge fan of soundtrack music and I really enjoyed the music in the background along with the sound effects. I know this is a demo preview of what is to come, but it is really well done. If I were to list a couple of things I'd like to see, which already may be in the works, I don't know, would be a more defined sound or alert for taking damage. A lot of the time I would be anxiously looking back and forth from the health bar to the ship in order to make sure I didn't get hit, and it would just be nice to know for certain. It's not a big deal, but something I would personally like to see. Also kind of the same thing with the wave timer, there were many times where I would get wrapped up in combat trouble and completely forget to make my rounds to pick up loose currency floating out in space. One last quality of life thing that would take this game to the next level for me is another sound cue or something for the health of your space core. In this game you fly out to get upgrades for your ship or just take on combat away from the core but then it starts taking massive damage quickly without you even knowing. It'd just be nice to know the core is at 50% health or some sound cue like that. Other than that though, just the ship credit issue where it only gave me one when I think I was supposed to receive three. I ultimately had a blast unlocking everything in the demo. I would love to see more modes and ships, which may be in the full release or added post content. And as most of the people who have me added on Steam or watch my videos on here know that I love achievements, so if some of those are added then I will definitely be picking this game up. Thank you all for watching if you're still here, this one was a fun one to play and make a first look video over. The next video should be my review after 100% Akimbot. I've got one achievement left that involves cleanup and then I'll be done with it. I'm on the hunt for awesome demos to do more first look videos on, so if you got any recommendations feel free to leave them down in the comments below or shoot me a message on Steam. I hope you all are having an awesome weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.